Hey everybody, what's up? This is Chris from T3 Handicapping, and I'm going to be taking you through the Indiana Grand Card on Monday, October 11th, 2021. If you want to follow my picks updated for scratches and changes, you can do so on Twitter at handicapping. T3. Um, and if you want to purchase uh, the picks and the handicapping material that goes along with these uh, grades that you're going to see here in the video, um, you can reach out to me, t3handicapping at gmail.com. I don't quite have my online store up and running yet, so hopefully we'll get that soon um, and you'll be able to purchase right off the website. But for now, just reach out to me. I'll get you some PayPal, Venmo information, um, and we'll make sure that you get the picks that you want. Uh, I have it for both Indiana Grand and Santa Anita. So if you want either of those tracks, Santa Anita, has Monday racing. Um, just $2 is all you need. You'll get uh, the full uh, worksheet with all of the numbers, all of the rankings, things like that. Um, it'll give you the actual percentages behind the letter grades. Uh, then you'll see the letter grades, which you have in here. Uh, and you'll also get the T3 boards, um, which can be really helpful for putting together your exactas and trifectas if you are a vertical exotic player. So um, there are some ways that you can follow along and reach out to get more information on the picks. Uh, Otherwise, let's jump right into the card for Monday, October 11th, 2021. Now, I will admit this is a card that right now I don't have, uh, I don't feel like I have like a super good handle on. So um, I don't have a lot of super strong opinions on this. So we'll just kind of run through it uh, rather quickly. Um, first race is a class number 12, so pretty solid for Indiana Grand. And it looks like it's going to be a slow pace on paper. Uh, these are non-two lifetimes, but a lot of inexperience. So in this first race, I've got the one Ingersoll as an A+, plus, the two Ch uh, Chismoso B, uh, Mr. Halftime, B letter grade, number four, Hungry Henry, an A letter grade, uh, Emperor of the Dark, a C letter grade. My top selection in the race with an A plus is Come Alone, the number six. And so when all is said and done, I actually had A grades on a number of horses. I had the six, who's my top choice, the one and the four, all as A selections. I had the three, two on my B line, and then I had the five on my C line. Now, especially on a card like this where I don't have a great handle, I'm going to be playing really heavily through my A selections. Um, and if I can, I'll probably play like A's into A's and B's, and then I might even flip that so A, B's into A's, so that if my A opinions are correct, I can cash some tickets. Um, if a lot of my C's come in on a day like this, I'm just going to miss because I don't really have strong opinions on a lot of these races, um, especially because I like to play horizontally and I don't really like a lot of sequences uh, throughout this card. So race number two um, is going to be a class level seven. So these are really good horses and it looks like there's going to be an honest enough pace. So I'm probably looking for a, a versatile type runner. Uh, Sol de Sur would be one of those runners, but did not rate out on my system. So not using. Olympic Romp uh, got a B grade. Don't Show Weakness, uh, got a C grade, will be one of the front runners probably contesting the pace. Now my top uh, selection here, my top contender, was uh, Slick Silver. Now this is a speed horse, um, and so I'm going to be counting on this one to get out in front, make noise, also an A horse coming off, uh, off of the lead, okay, or off of the pace. High Authority, a speed horse with a B grade. Unbridled Beast will probably sit just off and go, C grade on that one. So when all is said and done, you're going to see that my numbers look like this. I've got A grades on the 4 and 5 in that order. I have a B grade on the 6 and the 2, and a C grade on the 7 and the 3. Now, one of the things here that you'll notice about my 4-5 selection is the 4 is going to run out and probably be on the lead and maybe lone speed. If it runs this 96, no one's going to be anywhere close, and that should be good enough for this horse to get home. If by chance uh, some of these other horses go with that horse um, and they try and cook up that horse, you'll notice that then I do have the five who's an off the pace type. And I like to, if I've got um, a situation with multiple A's, I do tend to like to have one speed and one off pace. Coming into race number three here, we've got five and a half furlongs, class level 10, so a decent level. Um, it does not look like there's a ton of pace in this race as it stands right now. Uh, now that's subject to change once the gates break and depending on who goes and things like that. But my top selection uh, is the favorite and that's Shandana comes from the inside post. My top 
a contender a plus now this horse has burned money failed favorites the last two times out uh, both times were in these little dirt sprints so um, i'm taking a chance there but when you look at the speed figures i think you'll see why that one came out pretty high bribe is a late running type just not of much interest gets a c grade DD730 gets an A grade. That one's going to be coming from out of it. Uh, Incredible Justice also coming out of it. B grade. Miss Sugar Baker uh, just off the pace. C grade. Nighttime Justice just off the pace. C grade. Uh, and then an early runner in Miss Deputy Star. So when all is said and done, I actually have A grades on Shandana as the one uh, sitting out on that pace. And then uh, DD730. Who I think is going to be sitting back. Now, I like that Shandana has this 89 as sort of its average uh, pace. That makes it look like it's going to be lone speed uh, as it gets out there. But some of these numbers, I mean, you've got a lot of horses running 83s, 84s. It may not be that easy for the horse to get out there. And that's where I like um, a horse like number three, DD730, uh, to come running late if there's not the lone speed presence that that it looks like on paper now this one uh we're going to be jumping way down to the bottom here uh, a class level 23 remember the higher that number the lower the level of horse and again it looks like we have a little bit slower pace as i've mentioned before with maiden races that's not something that i'm super concerned about ronstad gets my top selection um, as the uh, top contender here, A plus rating, really nice speed figures to start the career. I love seeing that progression forward. Jug Rock also took a progression forward from first start to second start. I love to see that B grade for this one. Um, now, uh, Chacharulo is an early speed type, which we know is good, and is coming second start for the new barn. Uh, now, it's a fairly new trend for this barn, second start with trainer 0 for 3. So we don't have a lot here on Norman Cash to know um, exactly how well that's going to work out. Uh, Mr. Keen is dropping in class, gets a C grade mostly because of that. Number 5, better tone, A+. Plus. Don't love the uh, don't love the figures here and the way it's been bouncing around, but it is coming back off of a layoff, uh, which you can see as this horse drops in class and as the horse comes off a layoff. Those are two things that this trainer is good at. So um, you've got an A plus on the on uh, cause to cruise, forty five, and you can see good number second time off the start. So definitely what I want. And then I'm not using the seven. This one, you can see I'm really heavy in the A category. I've got the one, the three, the five, and the six all listed as A's in that order. You'll notice the three and five connected because they came out to the exact same number on my worksheet. The two is my only B and the four is my only C. Again, I'm going to be very heavily through A's uh, on today's card because I don't have a terribly strong opinion on anywhere where I can get really skinny. So I'm going to have to keep the general construction of the ticket skinny. Um, hope that I can hit and make some money. Uh, we've got a class level 12, uh, and this one looks like it could be an absolute blister on the front. Uh, Flash and Dance, number one, B grade. Number two, Leah Rowe, C grade. Number three, R Closure, no grade. Number four, Romantic Attack, no grade. Number five, Mox Tough, no grade. Number six, Vortices, no grade. Number seven, Lady Leah, an early speed type, gets a C grade from me. Uh, Sunny One is the number eight horse, and that horse will not get a grade from me, even at three to one. Uh, nine to one, uh, sorry, the nine horse at 15 to one, Stylish Kitten, no grade. Uh, and then Bloody Mary Morning is an A plus for me, gonna be coming from off the pace, which normally at Indiana Grand, I'm not a huge fan of, but given the fact that I think there's going to be plenty of pace on in this race, that could be something that really helps this horse out coming from just a little bit out of it. Top contender and one that I'm going to be using in the win place show ladder. Long-legged Laverne, no grade for me. Um, so as we go through this, you can see... Uh, one concern that I do have, now this is a turf race where early speed does not hold as well, but you're looking at Flash and Dance who is 97 to the front and there's just nobody who's even really close. Uh, Leah Lady or Lady Leah is a 92, um, but you can see from the best numbers 
if they both run their best race, uh, Flash and Dance is still going to be on the lead. So in this race, even though the 10 is like my strongest play in terms of win, place, and show, I definitely want to make sure I have the one just in case we get that lone speed. They just dawdle along on the front and, and come home. Uh, race number six, 24 for class. So again, we're dropping way down to those low level horses and it looks like another slow race potentially. I've got the number one stoked as a B grade. I actually have the top contender being Gold Incense, the number two. Number three is Indian Spring, C grade. Dogster, C grade, first time starter. Free to run, uh, B letter grade. And then six is Stan Goal at 20 to one. I do not have a grade on. Seven, it's all about Archie a B letter grade. So in this one, again, I've got gold incense, and this is part of why I elevated this horse so much. Um, likes to sit off the pace and come late, but you can see that that 83 early pace puts him right on par with number one stoked, who if you recall was a B grade for me. So I've got the two as a top selection, and then I have five, one, and seven in that order three and four by this point in the day i'll be able to see if early speed is holding and if it is the one probably elevates because it looks like between the one and the two i should have the front runner there um, and then i can uh, i can hopefully cash a ticket with just two moving on to the seventh race there are nine total thoroughbred uh, races on the card we're going five furlongs on the turf 22 so again we're looking at low level horses 19 so a moderate pace and especially given that they're maidens um, that is always subject to kind of flip on its head uh, i do not have a grade on the number one i don't have a grade on the two or the three i have on the letter uh, on the number four i have a b letter grade on the five, I have my top contender at eight to five. So a lot of times I do end up landing on the favorite. Um, and that's fine as long as the favorite doesn't get hammered down too close. I'm okay with that. This horse comes in from Churchill Downs. Uh, a nice little maiden claiming race there. Uh, the horse gets an A plus for me, for Ian Wilkes. Uh, number six, pick one Remy. No grade for the first time starter. Stormy's hero, no grade. Number eight. Uh, is Mystic Miss, and that one gets a B-letter grade. Number 9, Niagara Parkway, no grade. Number 10, Stacy Attack, A. Uh, Miss Getty Up, C-letter grade. Number 12, Sacre Bleu, is a B-letter grade. And then I have no letter grade on the 13. The 14, I have a C. These are main track only, as I've talked about before. Um, if this race comes off the turf and those two scratch out, uh, the numbers will likely uh, change a little bit for some of the other horses. So you may see some some change there. Certainly somebody scratching out of this race. Either we're going on the dirt, in which case some of the turf runners will come out, or we're going to stay on the turf and the dirt runners will come out. Regardless, um, you should see some changes in uh, who's going to be running there. So uh, here's what I have for the race right now as it stands pre-scratches. A line is going to be 5 and 10 with a preference to the 5 with that inside post position. I feel like that one's going to have a better chance to get out in front. The 4, 8, 12 on the B line and then the 14, 11 on the C line with scratches pending. Moving on to the penultimate race of the day. That's race number eight. We're going to go back to a little bit better horses here. Uh, class level 15, but still looks like it's going to be a slow pace. Um, we have a lot of slow paced races here on the Indiana card, which is not always the case at the course, um, because sometimes when it doesn't look like pace is going to materialize, a bunch of horses will try and go after it, even if they're not naturally speed horses. We'll see if that comes to fruition uh, tomorrow. Number one, tap the line. I have as a C letter grade. I have uh, no letter grade on talk to me justice number three ally may's revenge c letter grade number four dreamers dream c letter grade number five kitten's choice no grade get storm uh, get storm away no grade sharp life no grade uh, my top contender and in fact my top selection on the entire card is here for alex ashard uh, summer home an early speed type uh, with an A plus rating. You've seen that a lot of these other horses have not gotten letter grades. This one just seems far and away the best horse. It's going to be towards the lead. I love to see that. Lilies for Morgan, no letter grade. I want to be perfect, no letter grade. 11, she's my treasure. 
no letter grade. So when all is said and done, this one's actually fairly cut and dry. I have this one going squarely through the eight. That's where most of my bankroll will go. That's my top selection. Um, and then I have the four, one, and the three, all kind of on like the C line, if you will. Um, now, I mentioned at the beginning, I don't really have a strong opinion on this. This is a made in special way. I don't like to see my top selection, that clear winner, look like they're coming out of a made in special weight event. To me, that just reeks of somebody who maybe hasn't been tested. Um, you can see we've got four first time starters. We've got a couple horses making their second career start where they could take big jumps. Um, so it's a little challenging sometimes to make that your best bet and to put all your money through that. Um, and so that's why I said, even though I have, uh, even though I have a really strong opinion that that's the best horse in the race, it's not a strong opinion that I want to back up with my betting dollar um, and just feel like I'm going to make this a massive day if I hit that one. Uh, if it wins, I will probably win as well. Um, but it's not one that I'm going to just unload the, uh, unload the truck on. So moving into our last race, we're going a mile 70, class level 10. So pretty good horses here for Indiana Grand. And we've got a moderate pace of 18. Um, so that tells me that we may have the ability to come from just off the pace and still win here. Number one, I have a C grade on. Number two, who's your premium? I have a B grade. Number three, Lassie Linda, no grade. Uh, West Coast Justice, a C grade. Secret Sadie, a B grade. Number six, a light up justice, no grade. My top selection is Express Lady, going to sit just off um, and then make a big pounce late, uh, especially if we can get back to the 74 speed figure that was run two back. I'm going to like that. Uh, we did have moisture in the track the last time this horse run uh, ran where it took a step back. So hopefully we can get back to the winner's circle. But you can see this one has definitely found its way at least into the number a fair number of times. So I'm feeling good about that one. Lieutenant Kitty is a B grade for me. Um, and so when all is said and done in this last one, we've got uh, the seven as my top selection. I've got the two, eight, five in that order on the B line and then a four one on the C line. So uh, that takes us through our card for Indiana Grand on Monday, October the 11th. Um, make sure if you're following that uh, you click that subscribe button that will notify you when new content comes out. I've been dropping um, some spot play videos over the weekend uh, that is exclusive to my YouTube subscribers. So uh, that way you'll get notified of those coming out. Uh, with spot plays at tracks like Keeneland, Santa Anita, Gulfstream, uh, those types of places. So uh, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to the channel, please comment down below. I always love hearing from, um, from new subscribers and, and new viewers of the channel. So good luck on your Monday Indiana Grand Wagers and wherever else you're playing. Remember, I do have uh, T3 products available, both for Indiana Grand as well as Santa Anita, um, since they have Monday racing this week. Good luck.